Sorry I've been gone for a couple days. This popped up on my YouTube and since I'm new, I didn't really know what it meant. So I didn't want to post anything of uh, fear of you guys not seeing it. So to make up for it, I am going to show you one of my top coins in my collection. Uh, just incredible history, um, pretty pricey. And uh, so it's an 1800s coin. It's a Carson City and it's not a Morgan dollar. So let's get to it. But there's a couple things I want to go over before we get into the video, and that is, in no way am I trying to get you to like and subscribe to my channel. But on the other hand, if you have an unhealthy addiction to gold, silver, and numismatics like I do, you're in the right place. And as viewers, you don't get the recognition that you deserve. So I want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my content. It helps me out tremendously. With all that being said, let's roll it. I have a real treat for you guys. One of my favorite coins that has such a cool story to it. So this is a trade dollar. And there are so many unique things specifically about this trade dollar right here that I will go over. But I first wanna tell you about the trade dollar as a whole, what a uh, trade dollar is. So the trade dollar was minted from 1873 to 1885 and was specifically made um, to circulate in Asia to compete with other dollar sized coins of, of different countries that were already there. So it was more of a competition. Um, these were minted in Philadelphia, Carson City, and San Francisco. And on the obverse, we have the seated Lady Liberty. Right there, she's holding an olive branch, sitting down. And then on the reverse, we have the bald eagle with the weight and the silver fineness under the coin. So right there you can see it says 420 grains, 900 zero zero fine. So it is, 90% silver, just like almost all of the US's uh, junk silver or constitutional silver. So what makes this coin um, just so special is that this is graded MS62 and um, it's graded by PCGS. And for those that don't know, PCGS is one of the uh, top two companies that grade coins. NGC is gonna be your other uh, grading company. But there are only three coins in the world that are an 1875 Carson City with a chop mark. Only three in the world that are in a better grade than this one right here. So also for those that don't know, who don't see a lot of graded coins, the MS right there stands for Mint State. Um, the highest grade that you can get on a coin is MS70. But to, um, to find a old coin like from 1875 and MS70 state is impossible. I'll just say impossible. I don't know of any MS70s out there. If you guys uh, know of any out there, let me know. I'm sure that they are priceless. Um, hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions, absolute millions. And I'll save the best part about this coin for the end. This is where everything really ties in together and the true history of this um, starts to make sense. So the next thing that's special about this individual coin is that it was minted at the famous Carson City Mint. Now, the Carson City Mint was only actively minting coins for uh, 23 years, I believe. And any coin that you see that has a, a CC on a, a, grading, a graded coin, or you'll see the CC at the bottom right there, are going to come with a very, very high premium. And um, it really doesn't matter the condition of the coin it can be a a very very beat up coin but if it has either cc on it or if it's a key date 
um, it could be worth thousands and thousands of dollars or hundreds and hundreds. So keep an eye out for those. Um, if you're ever wondering why a coin is so expensive and it just doesn't look like it's that great in condition, you know, you're gonna have to do research on its date or its mint mark. And that's, that's why it's gonna be uh, so heavily uh, priced. Now, what makes this coin, this specific coin, and there's others like it, but what makes this specific coin so special and one of my favorites in my collection. So remember how I said the trade dollar was specifically made to trade in Asia. Um, well, you see how it says uh, chop mark right there. You just see that? A chop mark is a Chinese character stamped onto a coin by merchants that were overseas and it's to validate um, its weight and silver content. So you can see where it kind of pushed through right there, that little uh, indent out. And I'll post some better pictures of uh, trade, or uh, sorry, uh, chop marks in the video so that you guys can see exactly what I'm, I'm talking about. And then the chop mark itself, oh, that's actually a really good glare right there for that. You can see it right in the, the eagle right there. So a merchant stamped this verifying that it was its weight and silver content was real. So that means that this coin right here um, was circulated in Asia, verified in trade, and found its way back home and graded in this in a mint state uh, condition. Can you guys imagine the story this coin has behind it? And to me, it's just, it's absolutely fascinating. That's what we got me into numismatics is the history of the things, you know, the hands that these coins went through. And I have plenty more um, in this box that are uh, more rare than this, some other Carson cities and stuff. Um, but to me, it's fascinating. The And some people don't like the chop marks on there um, and there's different views for that me personally I love the chop mark because that is the sole purpose of the trade dollar itself and some people will devalue the coin and make it cheaper just because it has a chop mark on it but uh, this one this coin right here was not um, cheap whatsoever and I'm actually talking with PCGS right now to get it changed to PL. Uh, you'll get like a PL next to the MS62. So PL stands for proof like. If you see this shiny image in the back right here behind the Lady Liberty, it's a very, very clean flat strike. Makes it look kind of like a mirror, like a proof coin. So even though that these did not come out in proof for the 1875 specifically the later dates for the trade dollar um, had proofs but the 1875 didn't so even if a date doesn't have proof coins those first coins that were struck still can be considered proof like so you can get that added um, to the uh, grade which will increase the value uh, significantly and if you want some good examples of what proof like coins or there's even DMPLs which means deep mirror proof like um, go look those up and they're the best examples that you're gonna find are from uh, Morgan dollars and those will also um, carry a premium and I'll also post a picture of uh, some proof like coins to give you an example of what those look like but yeah guys this is this is one of my top coins right here just 1875 Carson City chop mark in mint state condition I think it's just absolutely phenomenal and for those that appreciate history and numismatics like I do you know what we're looking at right here but I hope you all got something from this video and I'll see you in the next.